it's Kamara Yvonne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see by the title, today we're going to be doing another natural hair transformation video. I've had these knotless braids in for a little over a month now and they're super frizzy and I'm just ready to wash my hair and I'm ready to wear my natural hair again. If you guys have been following my channel for the past couple of months, I've been protective styling like crazy, especially since we've been in the house. I don't really feel like there's a reason for me to wear my hair out so since quarantine in March for the most part my hair has been in protective styles I had jumbo box braids and then I took those braids out and I put in feed in braids and then I wore my wig for a little bit and now I have knotless braids so I'm going to take my hair out of my final protective style and go back to wearing and nurturing my natural hair because I definitely miss it and it's time it's time since I've been protective styling for so long, I really want to pamper my hair today and give it much needed TLC. So I'm going to be doing a hot oil treatment for the very first time in my hair just because I really, really want to tend to my hair since it's been tucked away and neglected for so long that I decided I'm going to do too much today and try a hot oil treatment. So that's something new that I'm going to be incorporating into my wash day routine and you guys will get to see how it goes. So of course the first thing that I'm going to do is take these yucky old braids out of my hair. I'm going to do that off of camera just because it's boring and repetitive to watch me take out every single braid. So I'm going to take my hair out, run to the store, and then come back and detangle my hair and get ready to start my natural hair transformation. So stay tuned if you guys are interested in seeing how I go from these raggedy crusty braids to my beautiful moisturized natural hair. So I know I said that I was going to come on yesterday after I took my hair out and everything and I went to the store to wash my hair. That never happened. Today is the next day. I went to work and everything with my hair like this haven't detangled it or touched it at all so I feel really really bad but I did get a chance to stop at the store I went to Walmart and I picked up a few products to try in today's wash day routine so I'm going to show you guys those products and then start detangling my hair I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to detangle my hair because it wasn't super knotted yesterday when I was taking it out but I just want to detangle it as much as possible to get that shed hair out before I get in the shower to wash my hair because it's just always a disaster trying to detangle your hair in the shower and then it just keeps getting knotted and clumped up. That's just too much. So I'm going to do all of that outside of the shower with my tangle teaser. Initially, I went to Walmart to get some Sulfur 8 for my scalp. I wanted to try Sulfur 8 because I just feel like I need some sort of grease or something for my scalp to keep my hair moisturized because I've been noticing a lot of breakage around like my edges and like just along my hair like close to the roots, it seems like my hair will just break off and my hair is also bleached so that'll kind of make your hair break off a lot easier. So I wanted to try Sulfur 8 to see if that'll help my hair stay moisturized and it's good for dandruff, anti-dandruff, so I do have dry scalp. So I wanna see if it'll help with this. And a lot of naturals have been going back to Sulfur 8, so I wanna try it and see how my hair likes it. And it really stinks, it stinks. It stinks so bad, it smells disgusting. So I'm gonna try and put something over it to like mask the smell, but it stinks. The next thing I picked up is the Camille Rose Honey Leave-In. This product came out a year or two ago, I believe, and I've been eyeballing it ever since, and I just felt like I had too many leave-in conditioners, and I've been trying not to be a product junkie anymore, but I have finally run out of a lot of my leave-in conditioners, so I decided to go ahead and pick up this Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In, and the, the ingredients are so amazing, guys. Like you guys know, Camille Rose is my favorite. It's my go-to for my hair, and the ingredients like, this is probably about to be my favorite leave-in. It's literally honey, olive fruit oil, castor oil, aloe, sugar cane, sweet orange fruit, lemon fruit extract, like 
this stuff is pricey i believe it's like 13 or 14 dollars but your hair is going to thank you for the quality ingredients and since i have been noticing like breakage in my hair and my hair is color treated and it's been in protective style since march i really want to use products that are going to strengthen my hair and help to keep it moisturized versus like the three dollar leave-ins that just dry your hair out in two days so i'm excited to try this and the very last thing that i picked up i'm kind of hesitant to try it but it's the Camille Rose Daily Damage Repair Ultra Nourishing Mask. I definitely just took a picture while trying to focus it. So I'm hesitant to try this Carol's Darter because I know that they're not black owned. So I don't know how I feel about that. But I picked it up because it says Daily Damage Repair Ultra Nourishing and it's to help reverse damage, deeply nourish and protect against damage. And again, since I told you guys I really want to nourish my hair today, I wanted to pick up a different deep conditioner that I've never used in my hair today to see how my hair reacts to it. And hopefully it really, really helps my hair. Wow, I didn't even look at the ingredients. Uh, yeah, it's very long. Um, oh, okay. That's everything that I picked up in my little mini hair care haul. Everything else that I'm going to be using in today's video, I've already had in my hair stash. So, yeah. Now, I'm just going to detangle my hair and then get to washing it. y'all <laughs> look at all my hair i have so much hair so yeah now it's time to wash all this hair so let's do it Would you guys believe me if I said I've been asleep for about two hours? I just woke up. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> guys, I fell asleep. I fell asleep. And it's almost 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna hurry up and wash my hair out and get ready for bed. So, oh, I didn't really like position. This is my hair with the deep conditioner on it. It feels super soft, but it smells weird. I mean, I guess I like it. The ingredients are so kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about that. But I don't want my battery to die, so be right back.
I'm back. I just rinsed my hair out. And I'm sorry to style my hair because I'm ready to go to sleep. But like I was telling you guys, I just fell asleep in the middle of deep conditioning my hair. I didn't even make it to do my hot oil treatment because I've been sleepless the whole entire time and it's now 12 o'clock. Yep. Yep, yep. I'm going to put the Camille Rose Honey Leave-In on my hair first so that it doesn't dry out too much. Oh, it smells like honey. Ooh. It feels like honey, kind of. Oh, I like it though. I know I like it. But anyway, going all the way back to my shower, I used the Camille Rose Lavender um, Shampoo. And I did two washes with that. And then I put in the deep conditioner. And you guys saw like my initial reaction. I thought it smelled weird. And I really wasn't too sure how my hair would like it because one, it smelled weird, and two, it was very loose, the consistency. But it seems like the heat really helped. And then I ended up dropping my Camille Rose shampoo and I actually caught that on camera that I dropped some of it. And like half the bottle spilled out. I was so sad about that. So that kind of hurt. But whatever. Right? Now that my hair has been prepped with the leave-in, I'm going to go ahead and put the sulfur 8 on my scalp. Well, my scalp is on fire. To moisturize my hair today, I'm using the Camille Rose Curlade Moisture Butter. My scalp is on fire from that sulfur A. Oh my gosh. I could, it's just very, very powerful. That's a lot. The tinkles a lot. Like, I can't even think straight, it's tingling so hard. Oh my gosh. To seal everything in my hair, I'm just using this Nature Bless Nature's Blessings hair pomade. Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm done both sides because I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Alright you guys, it's almost 1am but I just finished moisturizing my hair, sealing it, and tying my hair up for bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this natural hair transformation, kind of. I'm going to attempt the hot oil treatment in another video and I'm about to go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> 